What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunny and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here, I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My desire is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose, and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I first wanna say thank you to all of you guys, all my subscribers, all individuals who've watched any of my content in my videos. We've passed over the 1,000 subscriber mark on YouTube, and I just wanna say thank you. It's an incredible journey, really, uh, that I've been on. For those of you guys who watch my videos every week, for those of you guys who come back, I just wanna say that I appreciate you guys. I really do, I really love you guys. Maybe I don't say it enough in the videos, you know, we're talking about some of the things we addressed. I just wanna say I really do care about you guys, and it means a lot that you're receiving and is having an a small positive impact on your life. That's all that I can really desire. My prayer is that as the journey continues, uh, I continue to improve. I hope that I continue to deliver content in a manner that is excellent, well done, but also more importantly, something that is relevant that you can take, implement, and see some result in your life. I believe that God is really gonna help you through this channel to be able to discover some things that are gonna completely change your life. I was having a conversation with a gentleman who asked me, say, hey Salem, when you were in college, how were you able to share the gospel? How were you able to present Jesus to other people? And you know, as believers and followers of Jesus, it's important because God has commended us through the gospel as we see through the great commandment and many other passages. And I'll put all the references on the screen, maybe also some in the description for you to be able to kind of go read some of these. We see countless times Christ and many authors of the scripture are showing us the importance of sharing this love that we found in Jesus with other people than just ourselves. If you've experienced something that is so good, something that is so magnificent, something that is so, words cannot describe it, like Christ, like the love of God and what Jesus brings to your life, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the comforting love that is found in the Father. If you've experienced that, is it not something worth sharing with others? Is it not something worth sharing and being able to uh, make sure that others can be able to experience that as well? Well, that is what God wants us to do. So I'm gonna give you guys one mindset. Well, it's really kind of two tips <laughs> that has helped me as I present the gospel, whether it is on an individual basis, whether it is to a group of people. I still remember from when I was relatively young, high school, college days to today, even when I traveled the world, these two approach basically remain the same. It's the approach of an evangelist and a missionary. I believe that all Christians, to some degree or another, a call to play these two roles, an evangelist and a missionary. An evangelist is someone who comes to a place proclaiming the gospel, proclaiming the love of Jesus, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to come and die on the cross for our sins because men sin, and because of that sin, the only way his sin could be forgiven by the Father was through the shedding of blood, but not the shedding of blood of anyone, but of someone that was perfect, someone who had never sinned. So God the Son came and took the likeness of man, came, lived, experienced what it means to be man, but yet did not sin, was tempted like us, but yet did not sin. Because of that, his sacrifice was made acceptable to the Father, and by his death on the cross, he took on our sin. So now we are reborn in him, we are made children of God. So that is the message that we're supposed to to share and from that on we are taken away from death we are taken away from hell we are taken away from the destructive hands of the enemy which is Lucifer the devil and because of that our names are written in the book of life and the joy that that brings to us our nerve greater joy will be in heaven when we will be reunited with all other believers throughout the world celebrating the majestic presence glorious of Jesus and because of the presence of the Holy Spirit, He gives us dominion over our flesh to help us walk a holy life. And if we do stumble and fall and do end up sinning, that we have Christ, our advocate, to the Father who is willing to forgive our sins. That's the gospel. That is what is found in Jesus. It's not through our works but it's through our positioning. It's because it's freely given to us because of Jesus dying on the cross. So that is the message that every believer need to share to someone. One as the approach of an evangelist. So an evangelist usually comes to an area, preaches a sermon, whether it might mean uh, one time or two times, where the individual basically comes, present the gospel, and challenge people whether or not they want to receive Jesus. 
from those who do decide, it brings them to have the sinner's prayer or the repentance prayer or basically coming and accepting Jesus by the confession of their mouth. Whether they decide to do it privately or publicly in front of others, that is an important step. So us as believers, our job is to do that as well, to be able to present the gospel and challenge people to make a decision. Are you gonna stand and receive Jesus or not? The other approach is as a missionary. For those of you guys who are concerned, you're more mature in the faith, listen, <laughs> there's really no difference. A missionary would not be preaching anything different than an evangelist would. It's the approach in which he's presenting the same message that makes him different than an evangelist. So the missionary is really categorized by the fact that he or she chooses to live with the group to whom he's bringing the gospel. Missionaries are people who choose to live among the people day to day, live life with them through the struggles, through the, the hard times. They're not coming just one time presenting a message and everything looks perfect. No, they decide to live there. They get accustomed to the culture, they get accustomed to the way of life of the people that they hope to be able to present the gospel to. Those are true missionaries. So they're presenting the same message, but it's not quickly just one and done, just one opportunity. Take a decision now. If you don't, well, I'm out of here. No, that's not a missionary. A missionary chooses to stay. A missionary holds their hand. A missionary presents the gospel over and over and over and over. Every opportunity that he or she deems fit to be able to present that majestic, glorious, magnificent story of Christ, they do so. That's a missionary. Why is it important that all believers play these two roles? Because there are people in our lives that we will encounter in just fractions of moments. What do I mean by that? That person on the train ride that you just meet that one time, but the Holy Spirit is knocking at your heart that this person needs to hear the gospel. You have to be an evangelist at that moment. You have to present the gospel in this entirety in a very concise, meaning short manner that and help that person to bring to a decision, to help that person to at least have something that will make him think and the Holy Spirit will do the rest, right? So you have to be an evangelist at that time. You have to present the gospel. But there are other groups of people, our family members, our best friends, our colleagues, our classmates, people that we interact on a day-to-day -day basis, people that not only see us on our highs or just a fraction of moment just on a social media, but people that see us when we're frustrated, people that see us when things don't go well, people that see us when things are not perfect. Those individuals, we have to be missionaries to them. Meaning that more than once, we probably will have to present the gospel. I still remember one of my best friends, this gentleman, I've known him since our college days, just an incredible guy. When I presented Christ to him the first time, I, he didn't say yes, right? It wasn't like one of those like, yeah, I decided to do this. But to be honest, it's not because he didn't make a decision at the time that he was no longer my friend or I could no longer hang out with him or I could no longer call him a close brother. He kind of had good morals and a system, a way of living that was okay. Now, what I decided to do is I understood that this friendship, this relationship is a long-term run. This friendship, this relationship is something that's gonna be here for, for a while. It's not gonna end now. Because of that, my approach completely changed. I decided to present the gospel more than one often, sometimes through short stories, sometimes through my life, sometimes vocalizing what I believe, you know, through tough moments. I said, hey, I believe in Jesus. He, still being hopeful, still being kind, still being loving. Can you imagine that sometimes the way we live our life is also a message? I'm not saying that that should be the only message. I believe that we should also vocalize the gospel. So don't just be like, okay, I'm just gonna live my life. I'm not gonna say anything. I think that's a an erroneous way of looking at presenting the gospel. I think it should be a mixture of the way we do live our life, but also what we say about this love and this Jesus and this faith that we have. A mixture of our words, and our actions. So in closing, I would say, let's bring this to our approach. As evangelists, let's never be ashamed to present this magnificent story. Let's never be ashamed to be able to bring people into a choice, that they have to make a choice, that you cannot choose not to follow God and still make it to heaven, that you cannot choose not to follow Jesus and your life will be okay. No, because a life without God is automatically with the enemy. All his intent is to destroy your life, but Jesus came to give us life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and his life. That is found in Jesus. 
let's share that message that loving that this unconditional love with Jesus that Jesus loves you the way you are he doesn't actually want you to clean up to come to him he wants you to come to him because he's the only one that can really transform and clean you up that is the gospel so as believers we need to share that with others but also not be afraid to rub shoulders to go in the trenches to when somebody pains somebody has cancer somebody's in the hospital to go and pray for them maybe have to pray for them again and maybe pray a third time and fifth time and ten times and not be tired to continue to pray for them not be tired to continue to believe with them not be tired to continue to encourage them not be tired to continue to live life with them now that that's the gospel to have those two approach as an evangelist as missionaries i hope this was able to kind of give you a clearer picture as a lover of Christ, a follower of Jesus, that you and I as believers, we need to share this amazing love that we've found in Jesus. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give this video a thumbs up and also share it to one or two people. It might be helpful to them. That is all for me today. Remember, you are God's very best. I'll see you next time. Take care.